All right, guys, back to living from a suitcase. And you think it'd get easier, but it actually gets harder. Cause then you, cause like at first you're like, okay, I gotta not have anything. And then you slowly like pick out your essentials. Like, oh, I gotta have, I gotta have uh, my GoPro. You know, if I'm in a weird place, I gotta have shower sandals. Cause I don't want weird fungus. Um, you need resistance bands to stay strong. You gotta have opalescence go mint to whiten your teeth. So it's, it can get a little bit crowded, but this is what I'll be pretty much living out of the rest of the year. Cause the off season is over. Tomorrow, driving to Santa Fe, then Santa Fe to Tucson, getting a little bit of preseason. It's not off season, preseason training in spring training but in the winter in Tucson and then Memorial time. Time to throw a lot of hyzers. So I'm gonna go practice throwing a lot of hyzers. I'm excited. And you're gonna come along for the adventure. Let's go. Mexico, leaving the state. Won't see Colorado until April. Hide your pot. Should I just? I'm, you know what? I'm leaving that in because it's the truth. But we don't have we don't have pot. We have CBD though. We do have CBD. Oh boy, my hat looks great. Rest stop number one slash number two. We went to. Natural grocers to get food. Going to the bathroom and then I gotta move my hips. Because hips don't lie. Pro tip, if you're driving long distances, get out more than you think and do some squats, uh, glute bridges. That's what Seth tells me to do. And I do them maybe like 30 to 35% of the time. It's better than nothing. Get the glutes activated. Disc golf, your glutes and your hips are very important because that's how you throw all, that's how you get a lot of distance, but also you throw a lot of weight into them and they act as your brakes and your brakes are for control. All right, time to go to that. We stopped over in Santa Fe, it being the point. Just about halfway and you know it was not the hottest part of the day. Me and my top. son. Now you know it, it was just that part. That's all I wanted. And why is it more than this? Isn't going to be that long. See, I'm going to cut it off right now because I don't want it to be that long. Hey, Dad, I just shot my highest rated round last week, but I'm wondering how to get more distance. What's your best tip? You just shot your highest round last week. Yeah. And you're trying to get more distance. Yeah. What would I recommend you do? Yeah. Go throw, throw a disc in the field until your arm falls off. What if my arm hurts? Then back off a little. Throw a little, go throw your putter bar. Get but, your best, but what big, if I don't, your most overstable driver and but, just keep but, pounding it and then go to a flipping but what if I driver. And, what if that doesn't work? Right? Then how do, you get, it, how do I get more distance? How do you get more distance? No. It's just keep throwing and practicing. But I don't want to. I want you to give me a tip right now that's gonna get me more distance. More distance, throw down a hill, off a mountain. You throw further. Sweet, thanks dude, I'm gonna go try it. Look who it is. Look who I'm picking up on my way to Tucson. Hey. Hey, you going to Tucson? I heard there's a disc golf tournament there. There's not. There's not? Oh, well. I guess I'll go home. I can get out then. I still got my winter hat on. All right. I have to get... Come on. The lights were on all freaking night. You leave it on auto, okay? You leave it... On it goes auto. All by itself. You gotta put it on auto. I gotta go get some ice, baby. I 
out here at Santa Cruz River Park in Tucson, Arizona. The best ever. Throwing discs. Guys, you haven't really seen me throw. Everyone thinks that my hand's still broken, but if you see, it's fine. So, let's see if I can do it again. Okay, it's not that easy. But out here, just throwing a bunch of shots. Gonna be in Tucson for a little over a week. So just gonna throw a bunch of shots, get used to, you know, the swing of things again. Maybe shoot some videos, edit this vlog, and go play hole two. I'm rambling on. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, you love. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm not sure how this looks. It's just a GoPro. Um, but uh, here, Tucson, Arizona. You see the mountains in the background. Got my disc golf bag here. And I'm just gonna do a little field work, mostly putters, just lower power stuff. Get back in the swing of throwing. Get used to throwing easy hyzers again. So, yeah, let's do this. So right now, I am on Mount Lemon above Tucson. And it's pretty cool because Tucson's at 2,000 feet and here, um, a little over 8,000. So in the background, you see the pine trees, you see a little bit of snow. I really like the contrast. Yeah, so up here, enjoying nature. Played the memorial courses yesterday. Didn't get very much footage because it's hard to get footage of yourself. And no offense, Dad, but he doesn't really know how to work the camera. Wait, I want to talk about this more. I want to talk about a little bit more in depth to kind of give you a little bit of my mindset. So enjoy the view behind me for one sec. And we're going to go somewhere else to talk about this further. Okay, let's go. All right, I am in the room that I am staying at. And yeah, I just wanted to briefly touch on, I played Vista and Fountain yesterday to practice for the Memorial. Wanted to get up there a little bit early just because the first two practice rounds are always kind of a little bit messy. You're throwing extra shots and holes and you're not really sure of the changes to each course. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. And I played okay. Like at Fountain, I did decent. Uh, at Vista, I, got, I learned the course. But there was just a few times that I, I lost my awareness. I lost my pres my presentness in, e in those moments. And that's frustrating because it resulted in me losing three discs total between Vista and Fountain. And there was two moments where um, I just wasn't happy with how I took advantage of the moment. And that caused me to throw shots that I wasn't proud of. Two of the times I got a little bit frustrated and I threw a disc pretty hard at the basket. And the other time I kicked my mini. You know, I broke my hand because of uh, this, these tendencies, these tendencies that I give into my primal instincts. I don't let my brain do the work. I let my fight or flight take, uh, take control. And that's something you don't want to do. You got to resist. You got to resist the urge because that is where thousands and thousands and thousands of years of evolution has made it so when something bad happens, our instincts take over. And now we're living in a very different time, you know, missing a shot or something very minute can set up off those instincts and it's really not a big deal and we're going to be fine. Like this is survival instincts. We don't need to do that. It's playing a game and just so what I'm learning to do is train this to create these new neural pathways 
of handling myself and controlling myself better to where I can be in the zone, be in the moment, and achieve what I am trying to achieve. And I've been, I've come to this at a lot of times. Like this is the part of being an athlete. It's what's in here. If you look at Paul Macbeth, or maybe this is a bad example. If you look at any of the top, most of the top 10 disc golfers, each and every one of them has a very good practice routine, and most of them are equally skilled. If one person's skilled in one thing, maybe the other person's not, but they make up for it in something else. And, you know, they're great disc golfers. They can go out there and just shred, but it's what happens in the brain what makes people explosive and what makes people great. So it's how you take advantage of your mind. There's other variables, but it all starts here. It all starts with the work ethic and everything is in the brain. And I found that to be very true. So this is a little bit of rambly, but I want to post it because I want to watch this someday and to see where I will come from in my journey. Maybe I'll, hopefully I'm planning on moving forward because that's what I visualize, visualize myself doing. But you know, this might be something good to learn from because I believe that what I'm saying has a little bit of merit and I want to think that, you know, what I'm saying right now does good for me in the future. It's a good learning experience. Yeah. All right. I got to make curry for everybody. Red curry. I parted because I threw it the wrong basket. You didn't that hole, did you? Party. I should have. Whack. I love it. Unsanctioned, baby. The way of the future. Oh my gosh, it does look like I'm really white. Okay, this vlog has been something else, but I have a reason for it. It's because I'm trying, I'm so in between video editors right now. I got a new computer, which is not a Mac. It's a razor blade stealth, which is so-called the most powerful 13 inch laptop, but it could not handle DaVinci Resolve, or maybe I could not handle DaVinci Resolve, so, I am trying Premiere. So this is probably why this vlog is edited pretty poorly and I don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't really shoot any vlogs over the off season, so I'm rusty. Bear with me, guys. I'm doing my okayest. Ugh. But I've learned some things. I'm not gonna shoot in 4K because that slows everything down and it's just, I can't handle it. I don't have the machine to do it. I'm not Joe Mez, I'm not Central Coast, I'm Eagles Vlog, so you're gonna get 1080p footage, maybe even 720, I'm sorry. But we're gonna get through it, we come out better. Little side note, I won the Bare Bones Classic, or Bare Bones Jewel by the Bare Bones Disc Golf Club. It was an unsanctioned event, and I won $1,180 for an $80 buy-in. That's awesome. Shout out to Owen Bear for almost beating me. Shooting a 17 down to finish. That was sick. All right, I will see you guys next time, probably on the Dismedia channel, for the Memorial Championships, the official start of my season. Let's do this. Keep on dreaming and peace.